Hello and welcome to RegoFix Tech Chat. My name is David McHenry. I am the engineering and technical manager here at RegoFix USA. One of the most common questions we get when we talk about our ER product line is why do we have two types of nut threads? You have the standard nut thread and you have a mini nut thread. Well, let's go into the explanation. The original ER design came out in 1972 and it was designed for standard milling applications. So all the small ER series from ER8 up through ER20 have a hex style nut like I have here on this ER16 and the larger sizes from ER25 and up all have a standard spanner style. Now we're just going to talk about the smaller hex options right now and why those are offered in the standard like this, and then also the mini nut we're gonna talk about in just a moment. As you might remember when we talked about the history of the ER collet, we explained that the ER collet was something that was derived off of another collet design, and it was standardized and became the DIN standard. As part of that standard, all that was really covered in it were the coarse threads that you see on a standard tool holder. But as early as 1973, just one year after the design of the ER collet, the need for more clearance for the smaller ER series came up. And with that need came the mini nut. The base tool holder design, whether it be for a mini style nut or a coarse thread nut, the holder profile or the collet pocket is the exact same. So in this case, I have ER16, uh, ER16 extension, and an ER16 HSK holder. I can take my regular collet, and it will fit into the extension just fine, or it can fit into the tool holder just fine without any issues. The big difference that you're gonna see is gonna be the outside diameter of the tool holder nose itself. So if I look at the outside of my mini nut, or my mini tool holder, in this case the extension, and I compare it to the HSK holder, when I put the two together, you can see there's actually a significant difference in the diameter. You can see the tool holder body itself of the HSK is much, much thicker than what you have for my ER16 straight shank holder with the mini threads on that. And that is all based on the thread profile design. On the regular tool holder, I have a very coarse thread. And you can reference the thread profiles for all the different collets uh, for the standard tool holders on page 161 of the catalog or on the website. So you can get those outside dimensions for yourself. But the outside thread profile, it's very, very thick and it's very, very deep. This allows a much higher torque transmission from the nut that I'm putting on here being the hex nut onto my ER collet for much higher clamping forces. In relation to that, if I now look at the ER16 cylindrical holder, I can see that I have a much smaller profile and I can get those dimensions from page 167 in the catalog or from the website as well. But what's important to notice is the threads on the mini nut tool holder are very, very shallow and they're very fine. This means I can have much less material involved in the nut that goes on the outside. Well, that means the nut can be smaller. It can, we can have a much smaller diameter for tighter clearances and tighter reach. That also means the thickness of the top of the ER cavity is much thinner for a mini nut than it is for a standard tool holder. That is why when you go to the torque chart on page 293 of the catalog, you're going to see a significant difference in the torque values for a regular nut versus a mini nut. And it needs to be really, really make sure that you guys follow the proper torque settings. We've covered the reasons why in previous tech chats. So what difference do I have in the nuts themselves? Regular hex nut, mini nut. And just to give you an idea of how much difference they are in size. You can see here it's significantly different. And you can get those standards again on those two pages I referenced already, page 161 or 167 in the catalog to see the different nose diameters. 
it's just very important to know the main thing, the main question we always get is, can I put a mini nut on a regular holder? The answer is no. Can I put a coarse nut on a fine tool holder? Well, not really if I want it to work. Neither one is interchangeable with the other. For detailed information on the collet cavities, basically the collet cavity for the mini nut or the collet cavity for the coarse thread, please refer to the page 298 in the catalog or the website. Both of those can give you detailed information for thread pitches, outside nose diameters, and all the detailed information for the particular collet cavities involved. My name is David McHenry. This is Regofix Tech Chat. Thank you for watching.